Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. My name is Samina, I'm a science teacher with Let's Talk Science. And hey everybody, my name is Kirk. I'm a math computer science student working with Let's Talk Science. But today we're actually gonna be talking about space and specifically one place in space, Mars. <laughs> If you were traveling to space, what are three items you'd want to take with you? What if you were going to Mars? Let's find out what someone or something headed to Mars might need. Before we begin, ask a caregiver for permission and gather the following materials. For this activity, you're going to need paper, a pencil, cardboard, or you can use cardstock or a stack of papers, a pair of scissors, tape, and you can use optional materials like pipe cleaners or craft sticks. So far, humans haven't been able to visit Mars in person. For now, we send robots like the InSight Lander or the Curiosity Rover to land on Mars for us and help us learn about the conditions there. Thanks to space exploration, we now know that Mars has the largest volcano and the deepest canyon in our solar system. Today, we're going to be agents of the Canadian Space Agency and build our own lander. Our first step to building our lander is to create a draft or a plan. We're going to use a paper and pencil or any writing utensil to draw what we want our lander to look like. For example, this is how I made my lander look. You can see here that my lander has a solar panel. Using solar panels, my lander can get energy from the sun and keep on moving. When designing your own lander, make sure to include a way for it to get energy. I also have a temperature sensor or probe that can go into the ground. A temperature sensor is like a thermometer. It can tell us what the temperature is on Mars. Mars is a lot colder than Earth. It can even get as low as minus 153 degrees Celsius. How will your lander measure temperature? You can also include other sensors, like maybe one for wind because Mars is incredibly windy. We also want a way to gather data so that we can learn about Mars. I've included an arm on my lander that's holding a camera that can take pictures at any angle. Now that we've looked at my example, you can make your own draft. Remember to try and include ways for your lander to get energy, monitor the conditions on Mars, and collect data. You can also include any other features you'd like. Your lander doesn't need to look like mine, so pause the video here and be as creative as possible. Now that you've drafted your lander, you can start building a 3D model using your materials. There's no wrong way to build a lander, so have some fun. In my model, I started by creating the body for my lander as a cube made from cardboard. I got the cardboard by cutting up a cereal box. Once I had my base, I started to attach things. For instance, I cut out solar panels that are attached to a thin piece of cardboard. The solar panels will give my lander energy. The wind turbine measures wind speeds, and this here is a seismic sensor which measures ground movements. This can be used to detect earthquakes. I have a camera that I attach to an arm made from a pipe cleaner. This way, the arm and the camera can move. Then, at the base, there is a folded piece of cardboard. This will help our spacecraft land on Mars. Mars is a terrestrial planet, like Earth, which means that the surface is a solid made of rock or metal. In comparison, other planets like Jupiter are gas planets. This is my completed model. You'll notice that my model is not the exact same as my drawing. That's okay. Sometimes we make changes while we're building. Your model doesn't need to look like mine. Be as creative as you like. Pause the video here and create your own model of a lander. What does your lander look like? What kind of features did you add? And what kind of information do you think your lander will collect? A lander will collect information from the area directly around it. If we want a spacecraft to collect information from multiple areas, it needs a way to move. A spacecraft which will collect information on a surface and can move around is called a rover. You can convert your lander into a rover by giving it a way to move. For example, you can add wheels. With your caregiver's permission, share pictures of your lander or rover with us on social media. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.